today I'm going to show you the city versus the country garage sales. Garage sale with me. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bola Buddies, so I went to a community garage sale. It was a higher-end neighborhood, and I'm telling you, it looked like a county fair. There were so many cars trying to get into this one little, like, area. I was like, oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? I finally found a parking space, and it was kind of a wah-wah. I did pick up a few things, and I'm going to share with you some of um, the items that I picked up as you watch throughout this video. Um, a lot of bread and butter, you know, nothing too exciting. The exciting part is at the end of the video when I move towards the country. I did pick up this Jimmy. Um, it's a blow-up inflatable Santa. I do really well with Jimmy. Um, I paid $5 for it, so that's fantastic. I haven't looked it up yet, but I'm guessing anywhere from 30 to 80. I have to do research. I can't remember how big it is and um, what I need to look at the year if it's uh, discontinued and all of those good good things. So, but definitely a bolo for five bucks. Cannot beat that. Okay. Um, I did pick up these pantyhose. They were 50 cents each. I figure it's a great bread and butter item. I did not get the behinds. <laughs> I think those are like butt cushions to make your butt look bigger. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not get those. I do not need my butt to look bigger. Okay, so moving on to the next table. Um, there's this really cute brass duck and it it's I think it hooks up to like a hose thing, but they wanted like $20 for it and I got him down to, it was either 10 or 15, but I did not want to spend that much for it. Comps were not that great. I did look that up while I was there. Now, this garage sale was pretty neat. He had a lot of old stuff. This picture was really cute. Um, I did not get it, but I did find these amazing old buttons. And um, those inside the blue case are the coolest. I haven't looked anything up yet, so let me know what you guys think. Those right there are just, you know, bread and butter items. I can lot them up. But the ones in that blue case were kind of cool. But I ended up paying uh, $5 for it. I was able to get them down to $5 on the buttons. I didn't really feel like digging through it and trying to look stuff up while I was there. So I felt like $5 was in my comfort zone. So we had a lot of old fishing rods. Um, this neighborhood was on a lake. So... Um, yeah, fishing poles, fishing rods, <clears throat> and then, the, you know, these types of things were at this sale. But I didn't see a whole lot of them, actually. Considering it was on a lake, you'd think you'd see more. I did pick up this cute little bib. Um, I think it was a quarter. It was on the quarter table. There were two bibs there. I went ahead and grabbed them. And then this is another sale. Um, I just picked up some plush checking out the hats. I always look at hats. I love finding hats. Um, sorry, I'm trying to not get people in my video. So, um, let's see. I don't think I got anything at this sale. I was looking at this Boy Scout thing, but it seemed kind of modern. I know the vintage ones can do well. Maybe I should have grabbed it. It didn't have a price tag on it, and I didn't, I don't know, I just left. I picked up these calendars. They were super, super cute. Um, they're vintage. That one's from 1983. It's got the little squirrels and the bunny rabbit on it. So they were like 75 cents each, so I went ahead and grabbed them. I don't know how they'll comp out. They might only be a bread and butter item, but I figured um, for that price, I would try it. If nothing else, I'll learn something new. <laughs> like either it's going to be a dud or it's going to be good. Um, I know I get a few more things at this sale. This is the community sale. 
Oh, I don't even remember seeing that little wood airplane. That was kind of cute. Maybe I should have got that. I didn't... That's weird. You know, you watch the video back and you're like, Oh, maybe I should have gotten that. I don't remember seeing that. Hmm. Okay, so this little bucket or tote had a bunch of these little dishes in them. They were 25 cents each. So I went ahead and grabbed all of the little dishes. Um, they'll be bread and butter, but I figure I can throw them on Mercari and do free shipping and they'll do okay. I mean, it's not going to be like huge money, but you know, sometimes I just like getting stuff that I know that people collect or want and it makes people happy to get what they want. And it takes me two seconds to list it. This little doll was weird. Um, she's like, oh, that's really old. And she's like, I sold all of the rest of them, but its head was pretty, uh, in pretty bad shape. And I don't know, creepy dolls are kind of creepy. And that one was kind of creepy. This was, <laughs> you sit on the toilet and you toilet fish. I'm like, uh, no, if that has been used, that's disgusting. <laughs> this was kind of cute, but it was pretty big and I didn't want to deal with shipping it. And I couldn't get it to open up and stay open. So I passed. And it looks like I'm driving really fast and I'm not. <laughs> and I never record when I'm driving, but I was on a back road and I just held my phone to the side and drove like I normally do and hit the stop button with my thumb. But this is the country, guys. And I pulled up and there was that scream um, inflatable and it was Jemmy, the brand that I like, G-E-M-M-Y that I was just telling you about. <gasps> I could not believe it. So I listed that today. I've got it listed auction style. Um, I'm starting it at $99.99 and um, the buyer pays shipping. And I've already gotten a $50 offer and then I think a 60 some dollar offer and another $50 offer. But I'm gonna hold out and uh, see what I can get. I can't find any other comps on it. And it's from the Scream movie. So I, I don't know. I had that and then I decided not to get it. Uh, I probably should have grabbed it, but I was like, oh, it's not going to be good to ship. It's going to be a pain. So I put it back down and it was only a dollar. What do you guys think? Should I have gotten it? See, I took it and then I was going to get it and then I put it back. <laughs> oh, the story of my life. Okay. This was kind of cool. <clears throat> it was a nativity set, but I think it was only 2002 and the box was just disgusting. I was like, oh, it's so gross, but the inside was like perfect, but I looked it up and they, they go anywhere from 50 to a hundred and I don't know. I just didn't want to mess with it. It was a huge box. It was so gross and I just passed. So we're going to go over here and wait until you see what I find. I find these Easter bunny blow molds, but you guys, they are in horrible caked mud dirt condition and I don't know I'm kind of a lazy reseller I really don't like to clean things but I asked her how much and she said five dollars for all four and I'm like how can I pass that up and I had um, those big contractors trash bags in my car you know the really thick black ones so I just I had two of them, so I just shoved them in there. I tied them up, and I put them in my car, and I took them home, and I gave them a bath, which we will get to as we go on in the video. Now, those little ceramic eggs, I probably should have got them, but they weren't um, nothing special about them, but I have sold those in the past, and they've done well. I probably should have got them. They probably would have been really cheap. Um, the story is the people are getting ready to move, and they just wanted everything gone. Um, these records, I got really excited. I thought that they were going to be like a huge bolo because they're Halloween and they're vintage. And I got home and I looked them up and I was a little bit disappointed, but I only paid 25 cents each for them. So, um, I'm going to list those auction, I think auction style maybe, or maybe I'll just, I can't remember, but I'm going to list them <laughs> all three together. So, yeah, I was like, yes, these might be really rare. You know how you get excited and then you get home and you look it up and you're like, oh man, this jewelry box, I, I don't know. Maybe I should have got it. I didn't, um, I probably could have got it super cheap. Everything was so cheap, but I didn't. 
So just tons of boxes. I did not go through every box. I probably should have. But she said it was mostly like glass and stuff like this. And I do not need more glass. So I forget what's in here. Uh, I don't think I get anything else here. But um, I do head out to another country sale where I pick up some other goodies. And we'll be heading that way soon. Here we go. And again, I'm not driving that fast. <laughs> I can't believe how fast it looks. I guess that makes sense because you're sitting in a car. And you know, you're really going pretty fast when you think about it. Um, okay, so I'm at the next sale. And this sale had a lot of toys but when I looked them up, most of them comped out at what they were asking. So um, I didn't get any of the toys. I probably should have got those books. I probably could have resold them. I can't remember what the price was. I looked this up. It did not have good comps. I mean, it was a, it was a nice sale. They had nice things. But um, nothing really stood out to me as something that I needed on this table. Um, and the one, a couple of things I bought, I don't even think I showed in the video, unfortunately. I got some Vera Bradley purses. Um, they were super cheap and they were really nice. So I went ahead and bought, I think two or three of those, a cute little Levi's purse. I didn't show that either. Um, these are the toys. Like I'm always intrigued by toys, but I like to get my toys super cheap because I, uh, don't always know a ton about them. I'm learning. There were some Fisher Price uh, little people that I wanted to buy and they were like $5 a bag. And I asked him if he'd take any less and he said no. So I passed because I don't know. I, I usually pick those up super, super cheap or like in the free box at garage sales. So these were cool, but um, the ones I checked uh, comped out, like I said, about what he was asking. So I don't know what these little guys are. Um, it was like a whole set. I think it was 30 for everything, but it wasn't something that I was familiar with. And I think he looks everything up, the guy that was selling the toys. There were two different people there selling things. So I ended up buying from the other people. You can just see lots and lots of toys. I mean, nice things, nice, you know, I wouldn't, I don't know if they were vintage, but they were older you know, new old stock. So these were some uh, PS4 games, but I think they were five bucks each. So I passed on those. Um, some movies. All right, now we're going to go over to this table and I cannot remember if I showed, I got some ties. Yeah. So these are like vintage ties and they still have, I'm not showing you very well. Um, I actually walked past them because they weren't priced, but then I asked and there was a bag and then those that I was shuffling through and they were $2 for all of them. And they were new with tags and majorly vintage. So I need to go through them and look them up. I know some old vintage ties do really well. Um, I don't know if I got any, but I figure at least bread and butter. Those South Park, I probably could have grabbed those, but I didn't want to ship them. So um, I could have made a profit, but I just didn't want to deal with it. So um, I did pick some goodies up at this sale, and this one's back in the city. Um, I looked that up, and comps weren't super high, so I passed because it's really heavy, and I, I maybe I should have got these little Martha Stewart things. I forgot to look them up. And... That was like a chess set. I was looking to see if it was anything good. And looky here, guys. How funny is that? Of course I bought it. It's hilarious. And it's vintage. And it's a whole box of vintage hats. But we'll come back to that. We will come back to that. So I asked them how much the hats were. They were 50 cents each or three for a dollar. So I'll show you which ones I ended up getting. Um, this is, there was some decent stuff here. Uh, I, 
I forgot to go back and look at that one. I probably should have got that, but it was opened. But that's okay. They still sell opened, and it had a bird on it. So I probably should have got that, but I forgot. I forgot about it. That's the bad thing about recording is you're so concerned about like getting all the footage that you kind of forget where you were when you stop recording and go back. So, um, yeah, there's a couple watches there, but they were five bucks each. I think they were, one was a Timex and nothing special. Um, an old thermos, but the thermos was priced kind of high. I do pick up some more goodies here. This was a good sale. This was old fishing stuff. I don't know. I don't know enough about old fishing stuff. I know some of it can be like a huge bolo, but, um, I, I didn't take the time to look anything up. It's too hard to look up fishing stuff. So nothing on this table that really caught my eye. If you guys see something that you would have picked up, comment below. I always like to hear what you guys have to say. And I know in the last few uh, videos, I've kind of showed you guys some comps, but I'm just going to tell you what I learned when I looked a few things up. Like I'm telling you, I didn't get that because it didn't comp out and I, you know, but I'm not going to pull up uh, solds at the end of this one today because it's kind of a long video and I don't want it to be super long. This thing I looked up, um, they were $40, so it just wasn't worth it and it would have been a shipping nightmare. Here are the hats I got and I thought I had them in the camera better. Oh my goodness. It's like, uh, maybe when I converted it over, they're not showing up very good. I'm so sorry. I was so excited to show you guys the hats. Bummer. Well, you'll have to see them in my eBay store. So go check out my eBay store. But that one's the fun one. I, I think that one said Napa. That one's pretty cool. So we'll see. I don't know. Nothing um, that I thought was going to be like a huge bolo or anything like that, but all really good hats for the price, three for a dollar. So I did get this little black cat and there's a whole bunch of Build-A-Bear clothes in here. So I think I got three or four stuffed animals plush and then a whole bunch of uh, clothing. There was Build-A-Bear. I feel like there was something else in here also, like another type of clothing. Um, but I did get it all. Yeah, that um, little ladybug outfit. So I got all of that stuff for five bucks. This Pooh Bear and this Tigger, I got them uh, for $2.50 each. And they're Walt Disney Company, made for Walt Disney Company. And they're pretty big. Um, so I'm going to get those listed ASAP because I think they're adorable and they're in good condition. So two for five on those. And then I got a box of Paw Patrol stuff. I did pay up for the Paw Patrol stuff. I paid 20, but I figure that little plush I can make 10 or 15 bucks on and the rest of it I'll just lot up in the future when I get more. So here's my bunnies and I was having major buyer's remorse right now. I only paid $5 for them, but I'm spraying them with the hose thinking that the dirt is just going to like come off. Oh no, I had to get out a scrubby and actually scrub these things. Super annoying. <laughs> I hate doing stuff like this. So I got them all like scrubbed down. I sprayed them off, scrubbed them down. They were so dirty. Um, I do think that they're going to need rewired. Um, they may work, but I didn't test them. So I'm just listing them as um, untested, probably will need rewired. And here they are. They do have fading. They do have some paint loss. They're not like minty, you know, wonderful condition, but you know, a good find for five bucks. And I've got them listed separately. I'm going to try and auction them just kind of see what happens. Um, I've got local pickup on them. If somebody wants to buy all four of them, that'd be fantastic. So thanks for garage sailing with me. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks.